Good morning, morning, morning. What's happening, guys? I hope you guys are doing well on this awesome Monday, beautiful Monday morning in Cape Town. And I hope you guys had a good weekend, restful, ready for the new week. New week, new opportunities. Come on, guys. Let me know what your new opportunity is. Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to know. And guys, don't forget check out the last episode if you haven't commented on the last episode I really want to know I've posed a question to entrepreneurs I'm not gonna tell you what it is just go and look at the last episode I'm bracketing the sections of the videos nicely so even if you don't want to watch the whole thing just go and check out that section and comment for me I want to know what your one word is guys I am pumped for the last week of the series definite commitment on my side of the <laughs> on my side this is the last week of this specific series i'm wrapping up with my story and filling you guys in on where i came from and uh, you know the ins and outs of blueprint promotions when it started how it began and you know and my little journey and story for you guys uh, to get in the know of blueprint promotions and just get in the know of another entrepreneur another business owner you know and ups and downs guys because it's not all rosy definitely not so often you see on social media you see the guys um, rewards and the, the accolades and all the achievements but you don't see the behind the scenes you know and how long it took a person to get to where they're they are at the moment when you started to find out about them because they are becoming in a way famous you know from what they're doing and you don't know you have no idea the background to where it took and how long it took that person you know so I've been grinding at this company for 10 years now yeah 10 years and I am not near where I should be and uh, that has definitely been something that I've struggled with if you can pick it up during my um, my episodes but I definitely want to be honest about things and I don't want to you know sugarcoat it and you know create some false sort of narrative uh, for my my viewers that are on the channel that come visit me on the channel thanks so much guys I really appreciate it the views and definitely will be carrying on with the channel and being committed to the channel and sharing awesome content about promo branding and creating uh, you know branded products for marketing and promotional use that will be my main you know stream of videos so yes but I'm also going to be including video uh, uh, streams like this you know where we're chatting about entrepreneurship we're chatting about business ownership we're chatting about the ins and the outs you know so I thought that it would be an awesome awesome um, idea and series to do this and fill you guys in and the guys that don't know me can really just watch the series it's not a long series it's going to be 20 episodes and today is episode 16 guys 16 so there's not that many more episodes to go and I'm gonna wrap up my story and fill you guys in on where and how and what is going on with blueprint promotions <laughs> so guys the last time we checked uh, the last time I checked in on my story was our uh, the, the episode before this one uh, sorry the episode before last I was at the shred and uh, I was I, sh uh, I took you guys to the shred and I showed you guys my f my very first and second office space ever for Blueprint Promotions. Awesome place, really amazing. If you guys didn't check that video out, I'll shoot a link to that video and uh, just takes uh, take a little tour around the shred. Um, it was an early visit that was before everyone got there, even before all the. Um, you know people um, got into their office space because there's a there's a long line of office space in the front uh, there's about I think there's about four or five office space in the front there uh, if I'm not mistaken 
and it was early bells. It was before everyone started to get into the shreds. So, you know, that was my mission. And that was from uh, mid 2015 to the end of 2018. So I left in 2018 and I ventured off to Stelly's, Stellenbosch. Yeah. Wow, that is such a beautiful place, Stelly's. And I'm gonna shoot up a picture of me on my way. There I am, very excited. <laughs> it is always awesome to get out and uh, yeah, do new things and change up the scenario. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was quite honest in that video about the circumstances I was in financially. And I had to move, eh, guys. Uh, I, I I made a plan to move out to Stelly's and you know, thankfully I was only going to be starting the rent there in January where I had already taken my stuff out of the shred. I think it was even at the end of November. Um, so I managed to put all my stuff out there in Stelly's like December time and move in properly and start working in January and only pay rent at the end of January so yeah I just uh, hit a bit of a luck there uh, with that situation and that was really why I was going out one of the reasons uh, was to miss the rent at the shred yeah uh, guys it was it was yeah, God, it's just one of those things that you just deal with as you know, small business owner, eh? Small business owner, one man show. I mean, I shared with you guys that I did, at that time, you know, over those few years, I did try and employ a few people here and there. Um, but, um, yeah, things didn't really work out too long there with the employment. And um, I, th I think I think also in, its, in itself, I, I wasn't... Um, Yo, how can you say? I mean, I wasn't experienced enough, you know, to to manage staff and also my finances. I was just kind of just pushing into, hoping to bring people on to help me, and then you know, you know, with the extra help, um, you know, hoping that there'll be more work coming in with the extra help, and they would help me with that extra help, and we would grow. Uh, but it doesn't always have, work out that way. Some people it works out that way, but uh, for me it didn't. So, yeah, I had to mission out to Stelly's in the, uh, 2018. And I was out in Stelly's for, um, for four months, for until about April 2019 I was out there. Uh, if you guys want to check out my Instagram feed, it's not that far down, uh, you'll see. Um, I connected um, with the people who um, I had been using to do my marketing. Um, awesome couple. I uh, love them to bits uh, if they are watching. And yeah, I still uh, really care about them. They are super awesome people. And yeah, still in connection with them and still are chatting to them. Uh, but yeah, just they're not doing my marketing. Uh, yeah, I just, just trying to do my own, my own thing at the moment and trying to post and just um, bring a vibe on social media in my own steam um, also in all honesty guys i can't afford to uh, and, you know have a group of people looking at my marketing any longer um, yeah it's just uh, it's just too expensive for me eh? so i'm trying to do it all on my own um, and it's yeah but yeah we'll get there we'll get there that stuff that stuff takes time you know and we'll get uh, to that place where we are, you know, we've got a group of people that are um, doing our marketing and stuff again. But as I said, uh, I went out to Stelly's, awesome, awesome couple out there. And yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, shoot up a link for you guys because one of the guys, his name's Joe, he is a comedian. That's his, his I think that that is his sort of, that's his claim to fame if I could say it that way but he's also got a YouTube channel I want to shoot up the link um, because this guy's awesome and I uh, really respect him for his consistency as a comedian you know all the way through COVID and his channel that he's got going on now so I mean he just brings light to you know things that are happening in South Africa so I'm gonna give you guys a link to that 
go check out his channel give that a subscribe check out uh, they also do some really funny things where they roast the headlines which is hilarious I always watch that stuff that's lots of fun so go check that out these are the guys that I connected with out there in Stelly's um, I was such a really big area and being out in Stelly's is beautiful it's so open and you know, the place where we were at had such a um, yeah, you know, such a calm chill vibe to it it was really nice out there but like I said if you want to go and check out my Instagram feed it's not that far down and you'll see um, you know I also connected with Joe uh, on a couple of his little um, you know with when he did a few shows out in Durbanville I'll shoot up a couple of pics there for you guys uh, me and Joe and we did some like I did I was a part of some activations there helping him with his um, promotional products as well for the activations there and his um, comedy you know comedy nights and he had a, there was a cafe in Durbanville they were doing regular comedy shows so I'll show you guys a couple of uh, pics there so yeah we were still doing work together and um, yeah still just uh, vibing and it was it was lekker it was a good it was a good experience but yeah, ach, the thing is, it, it, Stelly's is really far out, you know, so from here, it's like a good 14 minute drive every m morning. And ach, I knew that, I didn't know that, uh, I mean, I'm obviously not going to go out not knowing that, not thinking about that. But I was just hoping to get a different perspective on things and, you know, uh, get some new clients out there and, you know, change up the scenery, you know, a bit. And um, I, I always believe that change is a good thing, you know, and we mustn't be stuck in one way and um, we must embrace change. So, you know, um, I was on that vibe and I still am on that vibe, you know, that you mustn't be scared of change. It's not, it's not a good thing to be scared of change. So I was kind of moving in that, um, you know, on those vibes, obviously, obviously, like I said earlier, there was financial stories and there was financial um, issues. So I was also making decisions on that and yeah, I just was given a, a good opportunity to not be able to have to pay rent at that time. And yeah, sure, now that I think about it, I must share this with you. At that time, my son was born. So he was born in November 2018. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Leaving the, my son was born, leaving the shred, going out to Stelly's, and yeah, uh, there was a lot of things happening. So yeah, some good things, some good blessings with my son being born, and uh, yeah, just some changes moving out to Stelly's. But like I said, um, it's, it didn't work out as long as I wanted it to, and I had to make the move back into Pardon Island in. To in in, uh, in April 2019 I found a spot here uh, with a guy um, he, he had a design agency as well um, he called himself V Station he's still I think he's still rocking it up there in Joburg as far as I know and um, yeah I was there with him from April until November 2019 and then he closed down the branch here and he moved back to Joburg him and his girlfriend at the time that he had met here in Cape Town and uh, yeah ah, it was also a cool time um, but yeah I, it was a bit it was a bit um, another you know another getting on your on your feet again and you know coming right and then having to move and sort of shaking everything up again and at that time then I also moved back to my flat that I was staying in Bloberg and I moved back there and uh, that's where I worked for November December and January and um, then I got a new opportunity um, sorry I'm just letting this guy in here I am driving though. <laughs> I got an opportunity um, to connect with some guys here that had already established um, a branding uh, facility here in Pardon Island and uh, they reached, he reached out to me. Also a little bit of a weird circumstance, um, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't really normally rant on Facebook and share like 
heavy personal stuff um, but at that time guys I was struggling uh, just with everything I was very upset that I had to move back home again and things were shook up you know and um, yeah just um, going through season time our, our trade really just shuts down over season time so by January I was utterly broke and just in such a really bad place um, just mentally and just just not happy Yo. and um, I literally couldn't sleep one night and I went onto Facebook and just you know how it is it's just so fake you know everyone's just oh my life's so amazing and it's all these amazing pictures and everything and I did a rant on Facebook a proper rant saying how fake Facebook is how fake all of this stuff is and everyone is just you know trying to be this perfect person and in reality it's not like that and it's just all fake and yeah a, one, a, a guy who I know um, who actually used to work um, at the shred with me he had office space in the shred so I know him very well also a very awesome guy good businessman um, oh, they've got a good establishment and I uh, really respect him very much so um, I always have um, yeah, he's a, he's a shrewd businessman, if I can say that. Uh, he, he's on top of his game, always on top of his game. That's one thing I'm very, very much so, always on top of his game. And um, yeah, he, he's a friend of mine on Facebook, and he saw the rant, and he actually called me. Wow. And I was, I was actually like, I don't know, it was kind of like a godsend, because I was really not in a lack of place. And it was really good to hear someone reach out like that. And I was really grateful for, for someone reaching out. Um, so my dad obviously called me as well. And, um, you know, what's up, bro? What's up? And obviously I can expect my dad to call me. That's one thing I can expect. Um, but someone that I don't know that saw the, saw the post. Um, well, I do know him. I know him very well, but not like he's not my family. Uh, to call, to call me like that, and yeah, I just I just told him like he said, "Are you okay?" And I said, "No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Feels like I'm going crazy." <laughs> and uh, shame I, I shared like I'm just struggling, you know, obviously financially, and it's January, and you know I don't know what to do. I've been chucked out my place there in Pardon Island. I'm back uh, working out my little room in the in, in my flat. And I'm just like stuck and I'm just not happy and I'm just really angry that things aren't working and uh, and he said no man why don't you just come and hook up with us and and, and get together with us and, and we can make a plan you know and I thought that was amazing I thought that was so awesome and I really yeah this guy uh, at the time you know I really appreciate that so much um, for him to reach out like that, and it was genuine. It was a genuine call. It was a genuine reach out, you know. And um, yeah, so I connected with him. I carried on with Blueprint Promotions, um, but I connected there from a, like an agent perspective, and I started to bring in the work, the little work that I did have. I would give them to their factory, and they had a full-on branding factory, um, big screen printing carousels everywhere, embroidery facility, um, you know, and uh, here he had partnership in the branding factory, and yeah, connected with those guys, but lo and behold, guys, come on, <laughs> March, COVID hit, so yeah i just also again like getting settled and going in there with those guys and just you know thankfully there was a there was some new opportunity there for me and then COVID hit can you believe it eh? can you believe it i don't know guys like oh and then what happened we had to go back i had to go back to that same small little flat um well the small little room and i'll show you a picture guys this is my little room and I'll never forget this, um, you know, um, Chauncey was so small and he was, he would come and hang out with me, yeah, and uh, there's a picture there of us there in the room and Chauncey lying um, on his little bed, 
So yeah, there was obviously good things that were happening happening out of it. But I was there, eh? I was there in that little room. So that's where I'm gonna stop for today. And having to go back again back to the flat, back into my little room, and literally like again, like starting again. Eh? But 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 the, the cool thing about all of this, the cool thing about all of this is I didn't let it get me down, guys. I didn't let it get me down. I went into hyperdrive from there onwards. And that's also when I started picking up on the YouTube channel. If you guys wanna check, my video started increase from 2020. You can go look. And that's when I started getting into hyperdrive. And I started selling masks. Selling masks. Masks, masks, masks. Because that's all we could. That's all we could do. We could sell masks. So guys, that is where I'm going to end off. Back at the flat. In my little room. Just pumping masks. And I had my heat press and my vinyl cutters. And I was cutting logos. Vinyl cutting logos and pressing it to masks. And selling the masks, guys. That's where I was. Early 2020. 20, and I was gunning it and I picked up some good orders for the masks some big orders um, yeah that sustained me through it all so there is it guys that's where I'll end off today I'm looking forward to carrying on my story with you guys tomorrow and uh, one thing I can leave you with is if you're a business owner don't give up don't ever ever give up if this is your dream if this is your passion you love what you do don't give up even if you have to get a second job and don't be scared to get a second job it's okay to get a second job but just don't give up on your dream don't give up on what you're passionate about guys have an awesome Monday please set some goals if you want to drop some comments on the goals that you've set for the week I would love to hear and do let me know what you think of the episode give me a like share if you thought it was helpful subscribe if you have not subscribed and i will see you guys tomorrow in episode 17 cheers